Hi everyone, my name's Elaine with Vintage Rose Thrifter. I'm here today because I went to a really tiny thrift shop today uh, at, a, at a store that was about a half hour away from my house, not too far, and I found some really great things there. Some leather coats and a sweater, I'll show you them. And um, so if you want, you can find me on Poshmark. Uh, my name is Vintage Rose Thrifter, and I hope to see you there. I hope you check out my closet. Uh, these things aren't posted yet, but they will be, probably in a few days. I've got a lot from yesterday that I um, showed you. So today I have just a few more, and I'm going to show you what coats I have in my closet already too. Might as well. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'd love it if you subscribe and like my channel here. That would help me a lot. And we're going to just get started now. Okay, I don't want to take too much time. Um, and then I have some tips for you. Uh, um, involving plush uh, animals, webkins in particular. Hold on to them if you have them. Um, okay, this is my very first find. It's a really beautiful sweater from Jessica Simpson. It's a size small. I like her items, I really do. I have some of her shoes. Now this I found for $3, which I think is a steal. That is really an incredible price. It's got little pockets. It's really, really pretty. I like it a lot. It's red and black and uh, in really great condition. It's long. It would look cute with leggings. I really, really like that. And this is a size small. Okay, I got that for $3, and I'm probably going to, I don't know what her things will pull, maybe 25 or something like that. Now, this is my first leather coat. It's called Knight's Bridge. It's a size medium. I don't know if you can read the tag there, but it is a medium. It's a man's coat, black leather, in really nice condition. It's very soft. I like it. Here's what the cuffs look like. Um, and it's got a zipper, and it's quilted inside like that. Great condition. I got this for, let me, let me look. I think it was like $5, $7 for this, but I thought that was a good price. Uh, these, I don't know what they're going to go for. Maybe in the $40 range, $40 to $50, I might post it uh, for on Poshmark. And this is a woman's. I love this collar. Look at the work on that. I really like it. It's from Antonini. Antonini from Italy. Size 36. I'm not sure what that will be in U.S. size, but I'll figure it out and I'll post it. Look at the inside. It's really, really pretty. I love it. A nice lining in there. This is the back. This is what the cuffs look like with the button. Leather, I think. Wait. Yes, it is covered in leather. And I love this little tag right here. Isn't that cool? I love that. Anyway, I liked this one a lot. This one, like I said, ah, how much was it? I paid $6 for this one, probably around the same $50 range. This is uh, great if you're an outdoorsman. Look at this print. Um, it almost looks like, cam it's not camo. It's sort of like camo, I guess. It's called Leading the Way Walls, and it is a size 2XL. 2XL, there you go. This looks vintage, made in the USA. It's got a zipper, it's lined like this. It feels almost like a thermal material. It's got uh, pockets on the side. Oops, I almost tripped on my boots. Anyway, this is great and I got this for, let's look, $5. Really good prices there, honestly. This is a great, nice, heavy, um, outdoorsy kind of coat. And then I got these really beautiful shoes. Uh, they are Tommy Hilfinger. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think I am. They're gray suede. I like the heel. I like a chunky heel. Back in the day, I used to wear the skinny ones, but I can't do it anymore. I need a chunky heel if I'm going to wear a heel at all. <laughs> anyway, these are in really good condition. I like them. They're a nine medium, and they're really, really pretty. I like this right there. And there is a little mark there. I'm going to try to get that off. Um, hopefully I can. It's a little mark, but they're in really decent condition. 
I like them. And I got those for $3. Really good price. Now I'm going to show you things that I have in my closet. Um, this is from Chico's and it's white. You know, spring's going to be here any minute. <laughs> I hope. Uh, this is a, a linen, which I love. I think it's 80% uh, linen and then, uh, no, 90 linen and not, wait, 85 linen and 15 nylon. Um, I just love, it's got a little bit of a sheen to it. It's white. There's the sleeves. And I love the little uh, raw hem here all around. I think it's adorable. Oh, this is a size, oh, did I tell you it's Chico's? Chico's size one, which is like a size 810 in a regular. Chico's does their own sizing. I have another Chico's here. Now this is brand new with tag. It is a size three, which I think that's 16, 18. Chico's size three. Look at that though. So pretty. It's black with a really fun design. I like this, the wide sleeves here. Look at that with a little slit. It's just adorable. And I think I got this um, at the church when I went to a church bazaar. Um, and I think I got it for maybe $4 or something. So that was a great price. This, I don't know what I have it in my shop for. I think it's maybe 40 I don't know. You have to look. <laughs> this is really vintage. Look at this. It's velvet and black. Um... It's just incredible by Pat Two, And it says division of Pat Richards Incorporated. And the size on it is, let me see, what is the size? Hmm, let me look. Uh, oh, size 10. But I think vintage size 10 is different, right? Because it's smaller, I feel like it's smaller. Now I have this, the keyword for this in my closet is dark academia, which is like, you know, the dark plaid schoolgirl kind of things. I just thought this was kind of like that. So that's my, one of my keywords I used for this. And here's the tag here. Definitely vintage size 10. Isn't it cute though? I just, I can't believe it hasn't gone yet. It's adorable. This I probably paid about $5. I think this also the blazer dark academia too. I used a keyword and it's from soft surrounding size extra small, extra small, but look at the embroidery work on that. It's really beautiful. It's part wool, uh, not a hundred percent wool, but it's a really, look at this workmanship. It's really gorgeous. And on the sleeve, I mean, it's just so pretty. I love this one. And then I have another, um, this is Sag Harbor size 12. I don't normally pick up this brand, but it was new with tags. It was from the church when I went there. You can see that. I think the regular price was like, I don't know, $50, I guess. Yeah, and it's red, very pretty, great condition. Well, it's new with tags, so. It's going to be in good condition. No one ever really used it. So, and size 12. Again, I probably paid $4 for that too. This is another beauty. Look at this, black and white. It's very art deco. <laughs> I love the print of it. And I like the sleeves again, really cute. The three quarter sleeves. Raffaella, if I'm saying that right, size small. I love that. I don't know. Let me see. There you go. Um, it's got a black lining inside. This one is not new with tag. Again, I probably paid about $4 for this too. I think this was all from the Church Bazaar. And this one I picked up not long ago. I like the quilted look of it. It's from Weatherproof, size medium. I just love the interior inside of it, the interior. <laughs> the in, look at the trim inside. It, I mean, the material, it's really beautiful. I love that. It's really nice. Uh, and let me, and there is some leather trim. Now there is some fading of the leather trim. I think you could probably see it. 
But I don't mind that so much. I mean, I think it's adorable. My daughter actually loves it. Anyway, I probably paid about $5 for this, I want to say. Okay. And this is from Sanctuary. Sanctuary. Is that part of Urban Outfitters or... Maybe, I'm not, I think, or is that, I don't know. I think it might be. Anyway, this is a size small camo material, like fleece camo design on here. Really cute. It's in great condition. Very nice. The inside, perfect. Love it. So this one, again, probably 4 or $5. This one is from uh, Pendleton right there, size medium. And it's got really nice um, fleece. It's It's got a good weight to it too. I like the pocket right here. And let's see, and then they have pockets on, on the side. And here's the back. It's a really pretty maroon color. Really love it. This one is a fun one. This one is a faux fur. So it's called, it's vintage, Va Fabulous Furs for Animal Lovers USA. A beautiful brown looking vest. Isn't that pretty? And look at the interior. Great condition. I think I only paid about $3 for this, if you can believe it. Look at the shine on that. It's so pretty. I can't believe it hasn't sold yet, but I just love this one. It's really gorgeous. And it is, oh wait, the size is, hmm, let's see. Oh, extra large, extra large. I really, this is fun. It's beautiful. Here's another vintage. This is called um, from Spiegel size. It's a woman's. Uh, oh, what's the size? Hold on. Ah, medium. It's oh, it's so heavy. My arms. These leather coats. They weigh a lot. Anyway, there's the Spiegel. Definitely vintage. Um, look at the interior of it. I said interior. Why do I keep saying interior? The inside. Lining is really nice. It has a hood, which is great. Here's the back of it. It's kind of long. And then the sleeves are in good condition. It's a beautiful leather coat. I really love it. And it has the zipper and these little pull toggle things on the bottom. Big pockets. Really cute. I like that. Um, and this one, gosh, I think I paid up for this. I mean, maybe about $8, 9 I can't remember exactly. This is, I got this at the church bazaar. I know that. Uh, Capelli Sport. And it's a white windbreaker. It looks like for a men's size. Uh, extra large. New with tag, actually. Here you go. Capelli. There's the tag. Here's the back of it. It's really, really perfect, perfect, perfect. Got It's got pockets right here. They actually zipper up on each side. Great for guys that maybe golf or whatever. Really beautiful. I don't think I paid that much for that one. It maybe was $4. Um, I have a couple more to show you. This is actually my vest. It's so old. <laughs> it's a navy vest look how tiny i can't even if i tried to put my arm in it i couldn't even do it now <laughs> it's so t how is i this little i was so little it's a navy blue and it the name is marianne fashion 100 percent cotton size seven it's been in my closet for years and years dry clean only okay the back is like that and it did come with a belt back in the day, but the belt is long gone. But I remember it was a little skinny blue belt and I had to sew on a different, a different button because the one that was on it, I don't know what happened to it, but I put that button on. So it's still cute. I have it in my closet right now. If you want to take a peek at it, definitely vintage. It's gotta be from the, from the eighties. I think it's from the eighties for sure. Isn't it funny? Oh my gosh. I need to clear out my own stuff. I actually have a leather jacket that is so cute. I have to put it on Poshmark. Um, and then this is my last one from Susan Graver. It's a size large. And I just think it's so pretty. Just a beautiful jacket. 
um, it's like a really peach skin kind of material, really soft. And look at the sleeves are perfect. The applique with the rhinestones, look at it. Isn't that stunning? I just, I love this. And the color is really nice, the navy. Beautiful little jacket, Ex um, large, large, yeah, size is large. I like it. Okay, that's it for now, but I wanted to tell you all that if you have any Webkins, you need to um, research them online because I, I listened to someone on YouTube. Her name is Bolo Buddies. Check her out. She does a lot of plushes, like she'll give you advice on on um, be on the lookout, you know, what to be on the lookout for. And she goes, she uh, focuses a lot on stuffed animals and toys and other things too, though. Gives some really great information also. So she was talking about Webkins and I have so many because my daughter's 23. And so back in the, in 2003, four, five, I mean, Webkins, that was, she loved those. And you, you would get a code and I think it would interact on the computer with them a little bit. And I used to save everything. All the paperwork that went with them, you know, when they were born. I don't know if it was when they were born, but when she got, adopted them, I don't know. That should take care of them. I don't really remember, but she remembered everything about them. I had it all in a file, the paperwork, but I can't find the Webkins. I tore my basement apart and I, I, I can't find them. I don't know where they are. So if you have any laying around, your home, check them out online and see what they're worth. Some of them are worth a lot of money. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, and then I also looked at my other daughter, who's a little older. She's 34. And so for her, I have a whole box of Beanie Babies. Oh my goodness, everyone, right? We'd stand online. And some of hers, I, I looked and some of them are the more valuable ones. Now, I don't know, it's so saturated right now that they might not be worth anything. But I did take the ones that it's that they said they were valuable and I put them in a little nice bag for her and I'll give them to her when I see her next week. But, you know, it's crazy, these things. And I don't throw much out. I'm very organized and neat and everything, but I don't throw many things out, like they're toys. But why can't I find the Webkins? Oh my, I'm pulling my hair out. I hope I didn't give them away. I probably did. I don't know why I would have because um, I didn't give away your Beanie Babies. Why would I give away your Webkins? And I know she had a lot of them. Oh, well, what are you going to do? But anyway, just that's my tip. If you have any, make sure you research them and check out Bolo Buddies on YouTube. She's really great. I had a great time listening to her and learned a lot. And so that's it for tonight. I hope you have a great weekend. I probably will um, do some more videos next week. So have a great night and I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.